Hey guys, so after my last failed attempt at building a lathe, I decided to give it another go after taking apart a vacuum and getting several good parts out of it, including this motor and some of the parts on this part here, which I'll explain in a second. So this video log will basically be me turning a vacuum into a homemade lathe. So right here I have a vacuum motor, which is actually the motor that went on the base and spun the little brush, not the actual vacuum uh, motor itself. It's a very strong motor. It can run off 120 volts, as it says here on the label. However, I am running it on 32 volts DC from this uh, power transformer. And it seems to be running pretty good off that. I also have a 19 volt transformer that I can use for it too, to get a different speed and if I want to make it faster I could probably use even more voltage because the label says 120 and this is probably a universal motor so this part here, this white block is going to be what transfers the power from the motor to the spindle so right here is a small pulley that grabs the teeth on that uh, belt and I have small bearings made out of bronze I believe and those are just in holes that I drilled in this PVC block so that keeps it running nice and smooth and I got a few screws holding them in and then I glued this gear to the little grooves in that uh, shaft and that gear will connect to a larger gear on the spindle which is what will spin the chuck. This part to the left just keeps the uh, gear from going too far out. And all these parts except the gear are actually from that same vacuum as are most of the rest of the parts that I'll use on this project. So I am literally turning a vacuum into a lathe with the help of parts from printers that I've destroyed. Alright, I'll just show you what it looks like running. I'm going to connect the power. Turn on my power strip. And then I'll connect the motor to the spindle. Like that. Flip on the switch. So it takes a little bit to get the get it right in the sweet spot where it doesn't grind, but then it runs pretty smoothly. So this should do a pretty good job. It runs at a nice RPM. Uh, the motor gear is actually bigger than the spindle gear, so it speeds up a little bit. But once I connect this little gear to the spindle gear it will it will actually gear it down a little bit so in the end it'll probably run a little slower than most lathes but I don't want it to run too extremely fast because I don't want a repeat of what happened last time and I can always change the speed with a different uh, power adapter so I'm not too worried about the speed for now I'm just gonna try to get everything set up and I'll have another video in a short while showing what else I've done. So this is the progress for now, and hope you stay tuned for the next updates. Thanks for watching.